Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, you will learn about global winds. The Earth is not heated evenly. Warm air rises and creates low pressure systems, and cold air sinks and creates high pressure areas. This rising and falling of air creates six large wind sails spread out around 30 degrees around the Earth. In addition, the Coriolis effect which is the curving of the winds due to the Earth's rotation impacts global wind patterns. First, polar winds. These begin near the North and South Poles. Cold air in the winter sinks towards the ground, creating a high pressure area at the poles. Winds form as they move from high pressure area near the poles towards the low pressure areas 30 degrees below. These winds blow from east to west. The next global winds are the prevailing westerlies, and they blow from west to east. These wind belts are found between 30 degrees and 60 degrees latitude in both hemispheres. The westerlies can carry moist air over the United States, producing rain and snow. Next are the trade winds. Between 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south of the equator, in an area called the horse latitudes, the Earth's rotation causes air to slant towards the equator in a southwesterly direction in the northern hemisphere and a northwesterly direction in the southern hemisphere. The Coriolis effect, in combination with an area of high pressure, causes the trade winds to move from east to west on both sides of the equator. The trade winds of the northern and southern hemisphere meet in an area around the equator called the doldrums. In the doldrums there is very little wind because the warm air rising creates an area of low pressure. And finally, the horse latitudes are located at about 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south. Sinking air creates an area of high pressure and as a result, the winds at these locations are weak. These areas are called the horse latitude because according to legend, this name was given to these areas when sailing ships carried horses from Europe to America and when the ships were stuck in the windless area, horses were maybe thrown overboard to save drinking water for the sailors. Remember, this is just a legend. Most of the world's deserts are located around the horse latitudes because the sinking air is very dry. So there we go, the global winds of the world. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.